led by the United Nations Environment Programme and marked annually on June 5 since 1973. The World Environment Day has grown to become one of the biggest global platforms for environmental outreach with millions across the world engaging to protect the planet. Here in the Tichman municipality of the Bonaist region, regional authorities of the Environmental Protection Agency together with other stakeholders observed the celebrations under the theme Protect Tano River from Plastic Pollution. Regional EPA boss Anthony Diaz says there is a need to protect the source of the Tano River, which has over the years been the major source of drinking water for the people of the region. So the essence of us here is to embrace the well environment day celebration by get, getting actively involved through these various activities to create the awareness among the community members and the citizens around. The Tano River is so dear to the people of Bono. Bony East and Ahafo, because this is where it takes its source and it ends up in the Gulf of Guinea. Therefore, if pollution takes place very here, I mean at uh, the upstream where its sources, then you can imagine what happens to downstream what uses. So it is important for us here to know that we have to protect, preserve Tano River, which happens to be our resource, because that is the basis upon which we can all boast of ourselves. Mr. Anthony highlighted that it is important for stakeholders to work towards adopting sustainable means of educating the populace, particularly school-growing children, on reasons why they must desist from dumping plastics into nearby rivers. Issues that has to do with plastic pollution is not a one day. You realize that in the presentation we said there must be a sustained effort, continuous education. This must not stop. The education must continue from all levels, from five first cycles to realize that we have in our midst, the JSS and the school people who are all here to really know why they must beat plastic pollution. So we have to look at sustained efforts at trying to educate the populace. Then we also have to adopt best practices. We must also make sure that at least we promote what is called waste segregation so that at the end of the day, the plastics can be segregated from the organic so that organics can be used for compost and a little of this will go to the landfill side. Chairman of the occasion and Ben Kumhino of the Tichman Traditional Council, Okunjiaman Kesi Basashia II on his part, appealed to authorities to put in place dustbins at designated areas to prevent the public from dumping plastics indiscriminately. If you don't provide the dustbin, where does the person put the thing? Those who have vehicles, they can put in their vehicles until they get home. But others, where do they put them? So as we blame the system, we must also blame lack of the facility to ensure that uh, the person will put the thing at the right place. So that one, I, I side with uh, whoever will say that. The dustbins are not there, and therefore, it becomes natural that when you finish whatever you want to do with uh, the plastic will throw it down there. He underscored the negative health effects of keeping warm food in plastics and called on the populace to revisit the use of leaves in place of plastics as another form of beating plastic pollution. We are even told when uh, the food is hot and you put it in the plastic, it's poisonous. Once it is poisonous, if you put it in a hot container, it is poisonous. If you can get cancer later, if the facts uh, I have is true, then I think we, we, we need to uh, get away from those things. So to me, if we can get some people to farm in such uh, uh, plants, we, 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 it, I think it will be good. And then finally, it can be a commercial venture that will also indeed help the environment to achieve the purpose for which we are here today. Reporting for Joy News, Anas Sabit, Tichiman.